Have you went to Rachel Bilson's? Yeah, she's in Paris at Fashion Week. Shut the fuck up. We just won it. Do you see that? That's the letter B. That stands for boring, like this movie. Okay, Bling Ring. Bling Ring is a 2013 film directed by Sofia Coppola about multiple teenagers, I think about seven teenagers in the Calabasas area who rob celebrity homes and it is probably the most boring thing I've seen probably in 10 years because yeah, this movie came out in 2013. I heard a lot. Of, I didn't hear good things about this movie, but I heard it was. Um, I heard this movie for years. I heard about the story, the real life story, because this movie is based on a true story. And it was probably like, because I saw this in at the end of 2020. We're in 2021. Man, I went seven years skipping out on this movie, and nobody warned me. So I'm gonna warn you: do not watch this movie. I'm not even gonna give this movie a rating. It is just b b b boring. Oh my god. Now, let me tell you why it's boring. The real life events happened in 2008. She's going to jail for her role as a member of the Bling Ring, a group of partying suburban LA kids that police say stole cash, jewelry, and clothing worth millions from the homes of a long list of Hollywood celebrities. Uh, a group of several teenagers from the Calabasas area, they went to high school in that area, just a group of misfits who are by no means, they're not poor. They just decide to rob celebrity homes um, and they were getting away with it. They were getting away with millions of dollars of robberies. They were hitting multiple homes. According to police, the kids in the bling ring would wait till the celebrities were out of town and then use maps on the internet to case the homes before they showed up to steal. And eventually they got too greedy. They kept doing it and, you know, the police caught them, you know, through. They just caught them and bam. <laughs> It was all over the news, and they're just like, yo, a group of teenagers were just like mugging celebrities, getting away with it, man. The way this movie depicted the robberies and just even the story, we follow, I'm not even going to bother with the names, we follow uh, this main kid, the, the main white kid. He's like the new kid in school, doesn't know anybody. Out of nowhere, like on the first day of school, he befriends um, this Asian woman who we come to find out is the main leader. She's like some lady who's like obsessed with being famous. This is like in like the heavy MySpace days. Um, I was like 10 years old when this uh, when these events happened. So I do remember MySpace was big. I do remember Paris Hilton was the biggest celebrity in the world. Um, th uh, this woman finds sev uh, a bunch of other misfits who are stupid enough to rob celebrity homes with her um the way this movie was directed it's it's a perfect example of you have an exciting topic and you are just there's definitely a disconnect with sofia coppola in that she was trying to make this movie I know for a fact she was trying to make this movie seem like, hey, robbing stuff and doing bad stuff is not cool. But she didn't make it, she didn't even portray it as not cool because this movie, Bling Ring, has a very famous scene with Emma Watson, which is this. Uh, video clip it's like in a lot of gifts it's like in a lot of like party stuff with like the same thing with the DiCaprio and the Great Gatsby yo that's like the, probably the best thing that came out of this movie that little you know sound uh, clip of Emma Watson Sofia Coppola completely miscasted everybody this is just a boring movie you don't care about anybody it, it's it's just boring dialogue like uh, if I could give an example Put on the bling ring and then put on Spider-Man Homecoming. And you're going to see what I mean by there's a big disconnect with um, Sofia Coppola and how she wanted to portray teenagers. Come on, let's go to Paris's. I want to rob. Ian Parker, what's up? Hey, where's your pal Spider-Man? 
Let me guess, in Canada with your imaginary girlfriend? <laughs> when I watch the bling ring, I'm like, yo, teenagers don't talk like this. Like, what the fuck? Like, this is weird. And then you see a movie like Spider-Man Homecoming, and you're like, bruh, like, when they made this movie, like, they, they're making, like, a teenage generation. Like, they, this is how, like, we talk. This is how, like, it is, you know? Like, there was just a big disconnect where I'm like, man, like, these kids are weird, you know? Like, yeah, you don't care. Like, you don't care if they get caught. You don't care if they steal. You're just like, dude, when is this movie gonna end, you know? The way, the way they steal it, which I thought was very interesting, and I was want to say, like, there's little bits of the movie, you're like, ah, it's alright. Main girl, the Asian girl, she, they're at a party with the white guy, it's the Asian girl and the white guy, and they leave the party, they don't go smash, but they walk around these cars, and the girl's just, like, opening the handles of each car to see if somebody left the car open, like, one of the other kids from the party left the car open, and she finds one car that's open, she goes, oh, cool open and then she starts stealing shit and I'm like whoa that's some shit I know the bums in Santa Monica outside my home do so I'm like Damn, all right, so that like I gotta watch out for that, you know, cuz I know fools be doing that They be walking by cars just checking the door see if it's open, you know that I was kind of like all right That's cool other than that this movie's hot garbage completely miscasted But I will say Sofia Coppola is not a bad film director When I did my research on her for this film and this movie review. I saw that she directed a specific movie called Marie Antoinette now if you know you know I remember seeing that movie when I was like eight years old because my mom and my sister kidnapped me to the movie theater to go see it with them. That's a pretty fucking good movie. That movie is about like some French queen lady. It's been a minute. It's about some French queen lady portrayed by Kristen Dunst, who Kristen Dunst is uh, Mary Jane from Spider-Man. So uh, like at that time, she was on top of the world and she was getting good work and it was a good fucking movie directed by Sofia Coppola. So I can't really trash her by being, oh, she's, you know, Francis Ford Coppola. She's his daughter and I'm like, oh, she's some celebrity kid who has a lot of money and they just gave her a camera and they're like, all right, make a movie just because you're, you're your daddy. She has some credit to herself, so I'll give her that. Please do not watch this movie. This is hot garbage. Very, very boring. Miss it. Completely miss it. it it's, it's not even an Instagram movie. Whereas then you, it, you could put this movie on for white noise and you could like go on Facebook, go on Instagram, go on Snapchat, you know, do some, cook food and have it on as white noise. Don't even have it on as white noise. Garbage. You'll waste your time. You'll lose brain cells watching this movie. Miss it completely misportrayed. I bet you there's a better like lifetime uh, TV show episode or some like, you know, like forensic files episode of the at the actual true crime bling ring documentary. You can find that's way better. It's like one of those movies where like, this is a movie where like the documentary, I bet is way better than the actual movie. Kind of the same thing what I said with the Foxcatcher movie. Do not watch that Foxcatcher movie with a uh, Channing Tatum. Garbage, hot garbage. You're better off watching the real life documentary. Hope I hope I saved you. Let me know what you thought down in the comments. I'll see you next time.